there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. Where's that FFV, Swain? It has just slipped over the line, ma'am. It's the scene is coming. They'll be back. Oh, this almost looks edible, Bomber. Move along, too, Dad. You're bad for morale. Uh, Bomber, can I get muesli with some hot milk on the side, please? Yeah, sure. In a glass? A glass would be fine. Can you make it really hot? Really hot it is. You're really hot. Here you go, Robert. Ah! Ah! Oh, Rob, are you okay? Uh, yep, sorry. Um, did it burn? Uh, it's fine, it's fine. We're losing speed at a fairly rapid rate of knots. Charge. Engines are overheating, initiating Stop emergency. Both engines. Shut down. Both engines. Charge. Come in, ma'am. What the hell was that? Well, we're dead in the water, sir. The props have seized up. I've got Dutchie and two dads gearing up. They'll be ready to go in a couple of minutes. Good. Go on, ready. Yeah, it's long line fishing there. We've fouled up. And no one saw it. Oh, there's no floats. It's lying just beneath the surface, and now it's got itself well and truly wrapped around the props. The bow thrusters are the only thing holding us in position, sir. Any damage? It'll be hard to assess until we cut it away. Managed to cut the bulk of it free, and I'm attached to the winch, so where you going? Boys! Easy does it! Keep it at that pace, because there's a lot of it. Stop! Oh, Avast! Buddy in the net! X. Going, Swain. Sir, no wallet, no papers to identify him with. How long has he been in the water? It's hard to say, but well, certainly more than a couple of days. Well, NAFCOM haven't had any persons overboard reports in the last 12 days, so he's not making this easy for us. I'm so sorry, Robert. Really, the boat just no, moved it's okay, and I. Oh, mate, it was an accident. <sighs> Is it still stingy? <laughs> Quite a bit. Mm. Well, I think other than a shot of morphine, I don't think there's a lot else we can do. Wait. My mum always used to do this on burns. Better? Just relax. Mm. Don't try to move. You'll only get frustrated. Mm. Nothing worse than... Frustration. Sir. Robert. Perfect timing. Upload these photos, forward them to NAVCOM with Swain's report. They can try and work out who he is. Uh, sir, um, there's something that I need to discuss with you. It's fairly urgent. Anything serious? It's about a breach of Navy regulations. I've been involved in 
non-regulation fraternisation. With Bomber. An unacceptable level of personal involvement is involved and it's becoming complicated. With Bomber. I'm pretty sure it's getting to a point where she's thinking of moving on away from Hammersley. Greener pastures. So you're aware of the regulations regarding... Oh, yes, I'm well aware, and that is why I'm bringing it to your attention at the earliest possible opportunity. Well, uh, I'll have a chat with the other party. Bomber? Yeah, Bomber. And we'll take it from there. Yes? Uh, sir, you're wanted on deck. Thank you. What's the holder? Well, there's several hundred metres of it and we couldn't leave it there to endanger the shipping. But there's still quite a lot fouling up the props. That is going to be a big job getting that free. How long? Well, we were doing 16 knots. That's 1,350 revs and then it wraps itself around the shafts, gets up into the glands. Best that, guess? 24 hours. If we work around the clock. Well, let's try and get to the lee of the nearest island, at least. Well, we'll have to do it without engine. The ribs? Yeah. Lines are secure, Dutchie. Take up the slack. Copy that. Just keep her nice and steady. Tow lines appear to be holding X. If you're happy with the speed, we'll be there within an hour. Oh, whatever gets us there, Dutchie. It's very philosophical, X. Always wanted to visit a deserted island. Now I can mark that off my things to do list. Speaking of which, can I have a word? Oh. He said what? He spoke of an unacceptable level of personal involvement. Now, I have to ask, is there a relationship? A relationship. Is that what he's calling it? Of course not. I gave him a kiss on the cheek a while back. A thank you. It was nothing. Well, Robert seems to think there was something. It was nothing. Sir. Why do I always attract the nutcases and then have to leave town? Leave this with me, OK? Thank you, sir. Well, Bomber, I note that your naval employment contract's up in a couple of months. You going to sign on again? With respect, sir, that's my business. And events like this don't help me with deciding. Fair enough. You're not really thinking of leaving, are you? upset because there's a dead body on board? It's because of you, Robert. I do not appreciate you reporting a relationship between us that doesn't exist. Understand this. Even a decomposing body is more attractive than you. Get it? I'll get that for you. You really think it's deserted? Maybe. Let's get off this boat. Wouldn't it be great to explore? That'd be cool. But could we really do that? Oh, why not? Hammersley's not going anywhere. Let's do it. Just the girls. Just the girls. Excuse me, sir. Mission to requisition a rib. Oh, sorry. Join the queue. Uh, Dutchie's already requested one with Swain and two dads. We need the other one as a standby. Fishing expedition. Uh -uh. Who's going fishing? There's great Spanish mackerel waters around here, and mm. we must take advantage of these opportunities for team building and crew bonding. Good. You can drop the three of us off on that island, then. Well, no, because where we're going is over the other side of... OK, we can do that. Yeah. Let's go. Don't oh, mind your step, girls. I'll call you on the radio when we're ready to be picked up. Ma'am. Free at last. <laughs> At least for a while. Don't have too much fun. Let's go. Pull ahead. Just waiting. Oh, 
Oh, it's quiet up here. Yes. Some of the crew are fishing. Ex-bomber and bird are gone hiking on the island. Well, I'm taking a radio, I hope. Yes. Uh, right. Just to let you know, I spoke to Bomber. She didn't corroborate your statement. So at this stage, I'm taking no action. Oh. Robert, you've got to learn to read people better. You spend too much time in your head. Listen, connect more. Yes, sir. I'd like to get you both together for a face-to-face -face sometime. Just a chat. OK? Haven't you always dreamed of this? What, hiking? Running away to a deserted island. Escaping. What do you think, Bomber? When I was younger, this would have been my perfect fantasy. These days, I don't think fantasies are too healthy. Oh, maybe, maybe not. But this place, it's almost too good to be true. It is beautiful. See you, Otacom, Sam. Sir, I just got this in from Navcom. Federal police records identify the body as belonging to one Edward Pritchard, sometimes known as Teddy. Thanks, Ray. It's in the hands of the AFP now. Uh, should have brought my hiking boots. Still, it's a nice change from the boat. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can, girls. I wonder how the boys are doing. Oh, I wouldn't worry, Bird. I'm sure we'll hear about it when we get back. <laughs> can't see her. She's just disappeared. Come on, let's find a way down there. Bomber! Bomber! Bomber, call if you can hear us! Are you sure you didn't miss her? Well, we covered both sides of the stream. Bomber! Bomber, call if you can hear us! Please! Found something, X. Is it hers? Yeah, it's hers. There's a strong current down there, X, so I reckon there's only two places she could be. She's either further downstream. Or here. No way. She's... She's not in here. Don't even think it. We're going downstream. X. Someone's come out of the water here. Looks like Bomber made it this far. All right, let's keep looking. Say. You must have hit your head pretty hard. Uh, I'm Sean. I'm Rebecca, right? Uh, here, drink this. I found you floating downstream from the lagoon. You're unconscious, so I carried you here. You carried me? Welcome to paradise. Okay, now I know I'm dreaming. No, no, it's real. It was called Paradise by the Founders. Well, fair enough. What else could you call it? Who were the founders? A group of people who wanted to build a, an eco-friendly, sustainable life. So, electricity? It's all solar. I thought this island was deserted. We're a non-polluting, carbon-neutral community. We like to live as close to nature as we can. I found out about this place when I was hiking in Vietnam. How did you hear about us? Me? 
Oh, uh, no, I didn't. How did you get here? A uh, Navy ship, Hammersley. I'll be wondering where I am. Your Navy? Yeah, I, w I was hiking, I fell. This is, they'll be really worried about me. Sean, as our guest, uh, making a rapid recovery. Rebecca, this is Peter. Peter's father and a group of like-minded people founded the settlement. Hi, this place is amazing. You're all amazing. <laughs> Well, we're no angels, but let's face it, if the world keeps going downhill, everyone's going to have to live this way. It's Rebecca, yeah? Uh, yeah, but most people call me Bomber. Because? Uh, in the Navy, if you have the surname Brown, you get tagged Bomber for some reason. Navy! Yeah, but uh, don't hold that against me. No, 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 it's just... Um, we've never had a visit from the Navy before. Well, most of us are OK, but... Um... Bomber? You'll find out soon enough. Bomber? I'm OK. Oh, my God, we thought we lost you. We were so worried. Oh, Bomber, what the hell happened to you? Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? We can get Sway to check you over. Welcome. Welcome to paradise. So you own the island? Yes. Inherited from my father. Proceeds of another life. Most of us here had past lives. I myself was an architect, but... Well, we wanted something better. It's tempting. <laughs> Commander, I must admit there's a, a request attached to our hospitality. If it's at all possible, could you not advertise our existence to the outside world? Uh, I know it's a big ask, but everyone here has earned the respect of everyone else. We're not a large group, as you can see, and I'd prefer not to be overrun, as a delicate balance needs to be maintained. It's exactly the same on the boat. I can relate. Thank you, sir. All those Navy rules and uniforms. I mean, don't you get sick of it? There was a time when I felt like I needed some discipline, so I joined the Navy. You still feel that way? Well, between you and me, there are times when you get the urge to break a few rules and jump ship. Hi. Hi. I'm Leo. I'm Brooke. You have beautiful eyes and your smile. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough about you. So tell me, what do you think about me? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's a joke. You do have a beautiful smile, though. Brooke, I was kidding. Well, you're improving. Well, they slap you before they walk away. I still think we had a genuine connection. Mm. Long distance. I wouldn't let it get to you, mate. I don't think these people live in the real world. Still. Food's good. It's just like... I seem to do things for a few years and then just move on. So we might see you back here. Maybe. I signed up to the Navy for three years, but my contract's up in a couple of months. Well, you'd make a great addition to our community. You're just saying that. <laughs> OK. I'd like to see more of you. complicated. You don't want to know. Come on, history's in the past. You're just perfect. Hey! Hey, is he, is he bothering you? Well, who's this guy? A friend, a good friend, who doesn't want to see you being taken advantage of. Uh, Robert, you're not a friend or a good one. Friends do good things. Come on, let's go. Trying to look after your interests. Mama.
Bomma, er I her? Bomma? Bom! missing one of our crew. As soon as we've located him, we'll be out of your hair. Hey, guys. We just got word from Hammersley. The props have been cleared and we're moving out. Have you seen two dads anywhere? No. Sir, no one's seen him for a while. Ex. Oh, I was just said they saw him leave the village this way a little while ago. Uh, he definitely didn't come our way, and that's a worry. Uh, one of those paths down there leads to the swamp. i better go check. Dutchie, you go with him. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Did you see him Mate, are you sure this is the right way? I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere here. Well, this is the only way he could have come. Who, Dads? Dutchie! Where are you? We're here! <coughs> oh. Don't get too close! Uh, we need to reach him. Uh, a stick or something. Two dads, when you stuff up, mate. I know. I know. Can you hurry up? I'm still sick of you. Just relax, all right? Just try to stop struggling, yeah? Easy for you to say! Oh, what sticks? And swamp gas. <coughs> it's lucky you happened here. The further you go into the swamp, the stronger and more dangerous it gets. Look, we've got to get him out. Yeah. Just try not to move at all. Your natural buoyancy will help you. Don't you? Here, behind you. Here, here, here. Don't move. Grab it. <sighs> Grab it. Oh, just, just stop it. Just grab my leg. Yeah. That's it. Grab my head. Grab my head. That's it. Hey, come on, mate. Come on. Let go. Grab yeah. my head. Come on, come on. Come on. Let go, mate. Thanks, guys. <coughs> We could use this guy in the Navy. <coughs> a large portion of the island is swamp. We just stay away from it. But apart from the obvious dangers, getting lost in the mist, there's also the hydrogen sulfide. That's the rotten egg gas. Now, if you can smell it, it's probably not so bad. It means it's low concentration. But when it's stronger, well, after a minute or two, it can deaden the nasal glands. It's a nerve toxin. It can kill you. Oh, it's also highly flammable, isn't it? Oh, yes. I can see why you avoid it. Excuse me, sir. Uh, we're ready to push off. Thanks. Mm. <clears throat> I'll check out properly when we get back on the boat. Fair enough. Funny. Thought the water was warm. <laughs> Funny guy. Well, Peter, thank you very much for your hospitality. Oh, it's our pleasure. Ray, let's go. Bomber, we're off. So... So... Thought we'd have longer. Yeah, that's a Navy for you. Reckon you'll come back? I mean, now that you know we're here, you might want to come in and check in now again. Do you know, I've been thinking... Maybe I do deserve a little bit of fantasy. Maybe we both do. say that I'm sorry. You say that, Robert, but you've got no idea why. Well, you're upset. Yeah, but you really don't get what's going on for me, do you? You just got this crap going on in your head and you don't quite see things from my point of view. I tell you a dozen times that there's nothing going on between us. And it makes no impression. I think you should just stay away from me. Do you understand?
anything else? Something's biting me in that mud. Uh, whinge, whinge, whinge. Hey, I reckon those leeches suck two litres of blood out of me. <laughs> Relax, you're not gonna need a transfusion. You gonna put something in these bites, Sweeney? Yes, because I'm a carer and a giver. Well, look at that, the black. Yeah, I was reading up on hydrogen sulfide. Turns copper black buttons. Am I going to have to buy a new set? Yeah, I'd say so. You've damaged Navy property. Sorry? I thought this was just a black band. Arthritis bracelet. It's copper. So it's been exposed to hydrogen sulfide. Mm. There's a good chance this guy died in the swamp on the island. Right. We're going back. So none of you have seen Peter? Do you know this man? It's Teddy. Edward Pritchard? Yes. Sir. Okay. How do you know him? Where he and I are involved. When was the last time you saw him? About two weeks ago. He went to the mainland for family reasons. And never returned. And that didn't raise alarm bells? Well, Peter told me that sometimes people have just had enough of the island. It doesn't suit everyone. Who do you think was the last person to see him? That would be Peter. Teddy left for the boat with Peter. I'm all right. Ex, have you seen Sean? Uh, no, I haven't seen him anywhere. He and Peter are the only ones unaccounted for. Peter was upset as I was when Teddy didn't return. They'd argued the day before. Well, they argued about what? I'm not sure. Something happened to Teddy? We found a body at sea. Teddy? He was found tangled in a fishing net about 15 nautical miles from this position. So he drowned? Uh, no. Well, we can't be certain without a post-mortem, but at this stage, we think that he died in the swamp. What is it? Is Sean involved in any of this? Did Sean and Peter kill Teddy? If anyone has any information, you'd better tell me now. Sir, Peter was last seen taking Sean down that path towards the swamp. Charge, I want you, two dads and row to meet me at our location at the rush. Bring a full set of breathing apparatus for eight people. Over. You're hiding something. Is that the way that Peter took Teddy? Is there any reason we should be worried about Sean's welfare? I mean, the interior is dangerous, isn't it? Why would Peter be taking Sean that way? Look, I don't know, I can't Bomber. say. All right, listen up. The federal police have been informed they're on their way. But in the meantime, our target is somewhere in that direction. Now we need to question Peter. But we have no idea where he's taking Sean. When we reach the swamp, let's split into pairs. That way we'll cover more territory. Call if you locate either of them. And don't forget, hydrogen sulfide gas. Highly flammable, i.e. don't fire any weapons in that swamp, understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's move. Gas. There's no gas here. Wow. Opium poppies. Yeah. And they've been lanced to harvest the resin. Oh, beautiful. Sir, Dutchy, I think we've hit the mother load. We're on the western edge of the swamp. Roger that, Dutchy.
Bumper Harvest. This is for you, Bob. Guarantee you those packages are filled with dried opiate resin. Sean's up to his neck in this. Did you see Peter in there? No. Sir, we've located Sean and three armed hostiles exiting a drug shack approximately 500 metres east of the village. Over. Roger that, Swain. Hello, Rebecca. Now tell me, how many are you? Put your mask on. Put it on. Stop struggling! I said stop! Well, fortunately, Rebecca, you've become more trouble than you were. You just couldn't leave us alone, could you? Goodbye, Rebecca. Looks like someone's been busy. Dutchie to CO. Go, Dutchie. We've just found a vat for drying opium resin. It looks like they pack it and sell it unrefined. Any sign of Swain, Bomber, or our targets? Well, someone's been here very recently. They're gone now. Everyone in the village is probably in on this. Over. I agree. And what's the bet they're wanting to get a long way away from here right now? They're on the way to your position. Over. Copy that. Out. Gotcha. <sighs> Swain! What happened? Uh, I don't know. I got hit in the back of the head. Where's Mama? Right. She was here. She was hit. She was... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy, buddy. Take some deep breaths here. Let's get this off. Robert, can you? Robert! Okay. Hold! Just our sex. Sorry, sir. Shed. That way? Yeah. Sir. Hey! Stop! I leave them. He'll lead us to Peter. Let's go. Converging on the area, you won't get away. There, it's Peter. Claire, get down. Hey, X. 
All the gas combusted. This is slight smell, not too strong. Are you okay, Charge? My ears are still ringing. Right, the customers must have a boat waiting on the other side of the island. I'll bet that's where they'll head now. Thanks. at the rush. Bomber. Bomber. Okay. How long's she been like this? No idea. Robert carried her through the swamp like that. He's breathing pretty normally now, sir. OK, can you hold that there? Keep her head up. It's just sweaty, but it's there. Come on, Bob. For me. For anyone. Tell her that Dutchie found a Dutchie carried her here, okay? Why? Just. Can you do that? Nico? Go ahead. The boat has been spotted arriving at the north end of the island. Copy that. Sir? Yeah. Can we move her? We'll have to carry her. Huh? Right, X, you and Swain, get them back to the ship. Right here. <coughs> Come on. You're on your own now. There's no way off the island. We have you surrounded. Put your weapon down and come forward with your hands raised. Secure, boss. Get up. Just give me a good excuse. Mind your step, sir. It's 
Straight up the gangway, please. Watch your step. He killed that man, Pritchard. Is that what they're saying? I didn't do that. Peter killed him. But you were there. He was going to the authorities. He had this attitude that the poppies compromised us. Everyone in Paradise knew about the poppies. So they all knew that Peter murdered one of their own? No. We didn't tell them. You make me sick. Get him out of here, Tudat. Sir? Just for the record, I've decided to renew my contract for another three years. Glad to have you aboard, Bomber. <laughs> Something help you with that choice? I just like the idea that I have people all around looking out for me. Excuse me. Uh, you... Oh, what was that for? <laughs> Two dads told me that you found me and carried me all that way. Thanks. No, that wasn't me. That was Ro. But uh, thanks anyway. Sorry. Why? You, you told me to stay away. Well, thanks for ignoring that. <laughs>